Good morning, children. Today, we are going to learn about different kinds of lines. Have you learned about sleeping line? In the smaller classes, in the kgs, first thing you learn lines to form different kinds of lines. From that lines only, we learn to write the alphabets. For example, when you write capital A, you have a slanting line, then a sleeping line. Do you remember? Yeah. So today we are going to learn about slanting line, slipping line, straight line. So all those lines have got a particular name. That's what you are going to learn today. Okay. Now the line which, uh, which you draw straight, that's the sleeping line. Now, for example, I'll just show you here on the board. Look carefully so you will not make a mistake. Also, keep your book ready. Page number 69. Page number 69. In the last class, we learned about points. Isn't it? Yes. Then what else we learned? Yeah. We learned line segment and ray. We learned about point, line segment and ray. Today we are going to learn about different kinds of lines. We draw sleeping line, then we draw straight line, horizontal. Also you learned about curve, curve, yeah, like a, yeah, bend, it is curve. Now my shawl, it is curve. And I showed you in the last class, when you stretch the ribbon, it becomes straight. Now, this is a straight line. See, here there is a curve here. So, here there is a curve. So, you learned about points, line segments and ray. Today, we are going to learn about different kinds of line. So, you please note what I am going to draw, what kind of line I am going to draw and look at the board. Saw this? Can you see? Yes. This is a sleeping line. Sir, when we sleep, how do we sleep? Do we stand like this? No. We lie down like this, isn't it? Yes. That's why this line is called sleeping line. Sleeping line. What is the actual name is? Horizontal line. What is it? Horizontal line. So, that is right here. This line is known as horizontal line. Ho, re, hori, h o r y s, horizontal. Z. Z. The sound is Z. Z. Zon. Horizontal. T A L. And this horizontal line is known as sleeping line. Horizontal line is known as what? Yes, it is known as sleeping line. Sleeping line. Now don't forget horizontal line. When you draw line like this, it is known as the horizontal line. In Maths term you use horizontal line, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Sleeping line is horizontal line. The next line we are going to uh, draw here is see the line. This is the vertical line. What is this? Vertical line. Ver. V E R is ver. Ver T. T I vertical curve. Vertical line. Now this is known as standing. See, when we stand how it is? The same way. When we sleep, yeah, we put our head like this in this position and we sleep. So when we stand, see here, this is vertical line is known as standing line. Vertical line is known as standing line. Let me put this in bracket. Standing line is T A N D I N G. Standing line. 
Now we are going to learn. What is it? Yes. Slanting line. This is standing. Now don't make mistake. Standing and slanting is different. Okay. This is standing line. See when we stand. Think so much. Now when we stand. How we stand. Our body will be straight. So this is the standing position. So the line which we draw like this. Straight is called the. What, is, what line is this? Yes, vertical line. Vertical line means standing line and horizontal line means sleeping line. So think of like when you lie down, how do we lie down? That is the, that line is known as horizontal line. This is vertical line. Now we are going to write the slanting line. Slanting. I will show you. Now it is straight, sleeping. So first we shall sleeping. See, sleeping line is like this. That is, sleeping line is known as what? Horizontal, vertical. Now I will show you. See this pencil, is it kept straight? No, it is in a slanting position. Slanting. Now it is straight. See? Now it is vertical, horizontal, slanting. So, slanting is not straight, slanting. Hmm? So, now we are going to draw the slanting line. Not standing, slur. A slur. And that is stir. S-T, stir. This is sla. Slanting. Slanting line. Not slanting. Slanting line. Okay. S. I'll draw here. Can you see? Oh, I'll draw here. I'll draw here. This is a slanting line. See? Like this. Slanting line. S L A N D I N G. Slanting line. So we learnt now today three different kinds of lines horizontal line, vertical line, and slanting line. So I showed you this is what is this? Horizontal, vertical, and slanting. Got it? Yes. So you won't make a mistake? Yeah. If you take a ladder, ladder means which you climb on top to, yeah, where you can't reach, where you can't, yeah, reach your hand, like when you want to take something from the top, you cannot stand and take it, so you use a ladder. So ladder is in the shape of a slanting shape it is cut. It's got a slanting shape. Have you seen? It's like this, isn't it? Yeah. That the picture is given here in the book. See, this is a, this is got a slanting, yeah, this is got slanting shape. Now, let's turn to page number 670. Now, listen. Name the lines and rays in the given figure. Name the lines and rays in the given figure. Already the lines are drawn and the, yeah, name the lines and rays in the given figure. So look into that. Now it is drawn a, what is it? Yes, yeah, sleeping line. Then after that what line is there? Straight line and a, yes, landing line is there. And it is also named it P, P then Q, uh, then R, S, R, S, T and O. So from here, from this, you know the straight line is P N, sorry the, what is that line? Sleeping line, that is horizontal line. Isn't it? Yes. It's a horizontal line. It is P, Q. Then, yes. The stand, standing line is R, S. Then, then what else you can see? Yes, landing line. O, T. Now, don't make a mistake with slanting and standing. Okay. Slanting. 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 Yes, yeah, slanting. That is what O and T is a slanting line. 
All right. Now, name the points and line segments in each of the following figures. Name the name the points and line in the in what in each of the following figure. What is that? Yes, A and B. That is what. It's a it's a horizontal line. Then we have D and C also as horizontal line one minute so points which are the points a and b and c and d a and b are points <coughs> A and B and C and D. Name the points. Which is which are the points? A and B and C and D. See A and B here. This is C and D. These are the points. Here P, Q and R, S. These are the points in this. Okay. The next one. Which are the points? Yeah. L. This corner. Here, here, these are the points. Now you know what is points, isn't it? Yes, they. These are called points. Here, in this, this is a point, this is a point. Then, yeah. Then what else? PQ are points. QRS is points. TO are the points. Next one, look here. A letter which curved line only curved line. Which is the curved line in this? This is a curved line in this in this these letters curved line. Yeah, this is a curved line. See here and here. Then here also got a curved line. So, now in the next one, number which, look here, a number which with a straight line only, straight line, with straight line, yeah, number with straight line is 4. Now, a letter with both curved and straight line, which is the letter with both curved and straight line? Yes, this has got a curve here. It's got a straight line here. Next, a number with curved line only. Only with curved line. Yes, this is the only one with a curved line. A figure with straight line only. Which has only got a straight line. Yeah, this has got a straight line. Yes, this is the only one which has got a straight line. So, <clears throat> Learn about the horizontal line, that is sleeping line. Vertical line is standing line. And this is a slanting line. It's a slanting line. Don't forget, horizontal line, vertical line and slanting line. Now, <coughs> look here. Facts to remember. You must read this. I just read it to you. A point is a dot made by a pen or pencil on a sheet of paper. That's what we learned in the beginning of the lesson. So, here A is a point. See. A is a point. Okay. From A to another line when we draw, that also become a point. So, A and B will be point. Next one. A this is, A means not a capital letter A is written with a, yes, beginning of a sentence, okay. Now don't get confused. A line, so we don't read it A line. When we're reading, we say, we read it as A, not A line, okay. A line has no end points. Line has no end points. You can keep on drawing, yes, from 
one line you can extend to any amount a line has no end points it has no thickness no definite length it has got no definite length and it has got no thickness you can keep extending it a line segment is a part of a line line segment is a part of a line it's called a line segment when you draw a line you name it as a and b and mind you you use capital letters to do that a line segment is a part of a line it has two end points and a definite length see line segment remember line segment has got two end points and it has got a definite length and it has got two yes two points a ray a ray ray a ray is a line line segment which can be extended endlessly in one direction a ray is a line segment which can be extended extended means it keep on yes stretching it endlessly in one direction in one direction types of straight lines now what are the kind of straight lines vertical line slanting line horizontal and slip horizontal is a slipping line the types of lines which is we learned today no different types of lines that is horizontal vertical and slanting are the different kinds of lines to yeah to draw different shapes now the <clears throat> very easy you know simple and nice how many letters of english alphabet do not have curved lines how many letters of english alphabets do not ha have curved lines so when you write a b c d you will know how many letters today that is your work first you write a to z in capital letter and find out which are the letters does not have curved lines which are the letters does not have curved lines like this is all curved like this this is curved this is curved this is curved so now we self you know which does not have curved lines okay so which are the letters yeah how many letters of english alphabet do not have curved lines write the letters then you will get it and you have to fill that here okay mm? now join the dots to get horizontal vertical and slanting lines so when you join this lines see so you get here you get horizontal vertical slanting slanting okay so you join this lines isn't it easy yes it's very easy and then we'll go to the next lesson in the next class in the next class we're going to learn about time we all keep up a time to come to school to wake up to go to sleep to have lunch and each period in the school as a yes particular time 45 minutes some periods have only 30 minutes isn't it assembly it is got a particular time when assembly starts now don't get confused with the time and lines okay lines very easy very simple as in it is okay so you learn yeah you learn curved line slanting line vertical line horizontal line so that's all we got to learn today and you draw different kinds of line and name it okay and different shapes you can draw with the lines isn't it yes you can draw cylindrical shape can draw curved that is the shape of a what is it yes like a cylinder it has got a curved bottom isn't it yes yeah so what will you do today you will write all the letters which does not have curved lines okay so keep learning your exams will start in march mid march so be ready and keep learning okay children bye take care have a fabulous day